Hey guys, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I want to go ahead and show you guys a, another Photoshop tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how to do an indent effect. So let's go ahead and get started and open up a new composition. Um, this can be whatever you want, doesn't matter. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and make a white background. Really, you can choose basically any color you want, but I'm going to go ahead and go with white. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do a darker color. Let's do a gray. I like gray. Um, Alright, so there's that. And then we're going to bring out our text tool. And the font I'm using is Bank Gothic MDBT. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just write out D to whoop, A P. And um, you can't see it right now, which is fine. Um, we're going to bring up the effects on it. We'll go to drop shadow. Actually, no, let's do inner shadow for now. And um, let's go ahead and set the distance to about four. And then the choke to about two. And then the size. We'll go ahead. Um, I think I'll make it about six. And then use global light. You, excuse me, use global light. Uncheck it and mess with the angle, make it what you want it to be. I like it on about a 45. This, I may change it later, we'll see. Um, as far as the blending mode for the inner shadow, you can play with it. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on multiply. And uh, I think I'm going to bring the opacity, um, or opacity, again, I'm not 100% sure how to say it. I'm never sure because I hear so many people say it so many different ways, but anyway, I think I'm going to set that to about 100. And then Inner Shadow, um, th I always play around with this a bit, I never really keep it the same for anything. So we're just going to play around with it. I'm going to turn Global Light off, and then I'm going to set the distance to about 1. And I'm going to make the uh, color on it white. Mm, that may not stand out. Okay, well that stands out more. Um, bring the size down. Um, okay, I'm going to change the angle to about 50. And hmm, I think I'm going to put it back on multiply. And then change the color to something else. Um, yeah, I'm going to change the color to like a light gray because that actually shows up without being too overpowering. And um, basically, I'll, I'm just going to set the distance on this to 1, and uh, I think that'll be it. So that's basically it, guys. That's how you do the indent effect. I'm gonna go, you can go ahead and scale this up, see it a little better maybe. Um, the other thing you can do that's cool is it doesn't matter. You can just change the uh, font to something else like we'll do this one and it, you know it still works as it should so uh, it's a pretty cool effect and uh, I hope it helps you guys out and I'm out of here peace